Thank you for your uh, kind and important words, uh, Chief Slat. Marilyn, uh, thank you for uh, starting us off the right way. Thank you, Christine, uh, for, uh, for uh, acknowledging the land and starting us off well. Uh, I want to start as well by acknowledging that we're on the traditional unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh nations. See, Minister Heyman, George, good to have you here and a number of your colleagues as well, because this is a big announcement that we've uh, worked very, very hard on to come together, but few have worked as hard as, as some of the Indigenous leaders in this room, and I want to specifically thank Dallas Smith uh, for his uh, incredible work and leadership as President of the Nanwalokas uh, Council for joining us today. Now, every time I get back to British Columbia, I have so many fond memories of my years living, studying, and teaching here, but what always strikes me, particularly on a glorious day like today, is the natural beauty of this spectacular place. The mountains, ocean, wildlife, fresh air are exactly what draw people from all around the world to come here. It's what makes British Columbia such an incredibly special place. So preserving the natural beauty of this province and of Canada requires constant vigilance, consistent work, and especially strong collaboration. To preserve the nature and the beauty of our country requires work. Since uh, the start of our government, uh, we've taken the necessary steps to protect our environment. Uh, our government signed a historic nature agreement late last year with the BC government and Indigenous leaders to provide up to $500 million to protect old growth forests and species at risk. Across the country, we've launched uh, a new network of urban parks, uh, including the Ojibwe Park, uh, which we announced uh, funding for in our last budget. Uh, the previous Conservative government had only protected about 1% of our waters. Our government has taken a different approach. As of today, we've protected over 15% of Canada's oceans, and through partnerships like the one you see here today, we're well on our way to meeting our commitment to preserve 30% of our lands and waters by 2030. We are launching the Great Bear Sea Project Finance for Permanence, building on a proven, innovative, and Indigenous-led model that has already delivered over $100 million in investments. This latest initiative will simultaneously add about 14,000 square kilometers of new marine protected areas to the 16,000 square kilometers of existing protected area in the Great Bear Sea and deliver hundreds of millions of dollars in investments to support Indigenous-led conservation and community development projects that will create countless good-paying jobs. This initiative demonstrates what we've long known, reconciliation, nature protection, and economic growth go hand in hand. As I said at the beginning, we cannot take the natural beauty of our great country for granted. Yet that's exactly what happened under the previous Conservative government. They gutted environmental protections, muzzled scientists, and abandoned the existential fight against the climate crisis. Well, we cannot and we will not let that happen again. That Canada remains the best country on earth, the most beautiful country on earth. And before I wrap up, I would like to say a few words about last night's by-election. First, uh, I want to thank all the volunteers and candidates for putting their name forward and participating in this important democratic exercise, including our tremendous Liberal candidate, Leslie Church, who ran a strong and positive campaign. I also want to congratulate Don Stewart on his victory in this tightly fought race. But most of all, I want to thank the people of Toronto St. Paul's for exercising your right to vote and making your voice heard. Now, this was obviously not the result we wanted, but I want to be clear that I hear people's concerns and frustrations. These are not easy times, and it's clear that I and my entire Liberal team have much more work to do to deliver tangible, real progress that Canadians across the country can see and feel. We'll never stop working and fighting to make sure that people have what they need to get through these tough times. My focus is on your success 
and that's where it's going to stay. Leaders um, that came before us around the continued protection of our, our territories that benefit everybody. And this is uh, something that we've always done in, in collaboration. And uh, this uh, gift is for you uh, to signify our, our work together and our gratitude and our partnership. Guy Exica. This time, I'd like to call up Chief Dallas Smith to present to the province. I got to present a gift. Oh, sorry. Sorry, the, the Prime Minister will present a gift. Bye. to give this gift in recognition of the work of the province has done. Diego Madelpi made these beautiful pieces for us, and so I don't know how you and the Premier work this, but I don't know if it's flip a coin, oh, I don't rock, think paper, so. scissors. I'll see it in his office next week. I think so. <laughs> Thank you so much, George. to 